Hi guys, uh, this is Kamran Ali Khan with the, uh, the task 2. We are starting the task 2 of the pre-release material and in this uh, video we will be focusing upon task 2.1 and 2.2. So let's begin and uh, so this is the task 2 in our hands of the pre-release material 2018 computer science and uh, now this task deals with the object oriented programming and uh, during the course of our uh, deliberations I'll be giving you some uh, concepts of the OOP as well so if you don't have those concepts already uh, you uh, can become familiar uh, with things so now task 2 uh, comes with the statement the starting statement there, there is a toy shop that needs a computer system to store information about its toys and uh, OOP has to be used. Now these are the properties associated with the toy and uh, this this would be a class as we will see uh, in a few moments and then this will be a subclass called a uh, computer game the, the, the super class will be called a toy the subclass is one subclass is computer game and another subclass is uh, vehicle so this is the uh, uh, this is the basic uh, class diagram class description of task 2 and on the basis of this description there are 10 uh, tasks here which need to be performed so and uh, let's let's start focusing on task 2.1 so there is a complete incomplete uh, class diagram over here and we need to complete this diagram in task 2.1 and in task 2.2 uh, we need to know that what is meant by inheritance and we need to uh, add arrows uh, in this uh, diagram so we will be uh, focusing on this diagram and we will be doing uh, both of these tasks uh, simultaneously so to say so let's uh, go to this solution of ours okay now this is the solution and I'll be explaining it to you obviously so let's focus on this uh, question once again now we are supposed to first uh, write uh, a class uh, in this class diagram we need to show a class which is called the toy and this toy has four properties name ID price and minimum age so as you can see over here in order to complete this diagram we only need to actually have these uh, properties over here with their proper uh, data types so a name will obviously have a data type of string ID is also string price uh, is single single means that's a floating point or decimal data type uh, you can also have a, a visual basic defined uh, predefined data type that is called currency but it's usually hard to handle the currency data type as far as the inputs are concerned and since the question does not say explicitly uh, about the currency or any other data type so it is better to use a simple data type called the single which can take a floating point number a decimal number uh, when entered into the variable uh, in the into the property called price and then there is a minimum age uh, that we have called it min age and that will be integer so this would be the minimum age uh, group uh, for that particular toy as we will see later now whenever you define uh, when you in the phase of defining a class and making this sort of a diagram uh, you need to have a constructor then you need to have getters and then you need to have a setter the setter is sort of optional uh, but since uh, 
uh, in task 2.1 it was required that you uh, should uh, have a setter uh, in all the classes so we are uh, we have a setter over here now what does a constructor do a constructor primarily initializes uh, this uh, these properties of a class and usually not all properties are initialized uh, by using a constructor only those properties are initialized initialized which are uh, needed at the time uh, of the manufacture let's say at the time of the manufacture of the toy or you can you can actually think of it like uh, a constructor is used to initialize the properties uh, of a class when uh, those properties will be kind of fixed through the entire program and they will not be variable they will not be changed during the course of the program so we need to have a constructor uh, there will always be a constructor uh, when you define a class then we need to have getters and uh, as far as getters are concerned all of the properties should have their individual respective getters so the property was name so we will name the getter as get name the get word has to be there uh, and these brackets have to be there so get name get id get price and uh, get manage the order can be different from this order but all uh, getters have to be here and then there is a setter uh, if you if you can you can already see the concept i think the name of the price is not variable the id is not variable uh, uh, the minimum aged uh, child or boy or girl or maybe an adult who can use this toy that minimum age will be defined by the manufacturer so the name the id and the minimum age are all uh, fixed so actually they will be defined in the constructor which we will see later in the uh, course of discussion only there is a uh, this thing might be variable because uh, a, a toy shop uh, uh, keeper may uh, set his own price so although one can argue that this needs to be fixed as well but uh, it can be variable and since the task requires us to have getters and setters so actually i put this setter in order to fulfill the requirement of the uh, task so this was the uh, super class toy and now there are two sub classes a computer game and a vehicle now a computer game uh, as far as the uh, definition of the problem is concerned a computer game uh, is a type of toy it has the properties of a toy so and this is the fundamental concept of a subclass now this computer game will inherit all of these properties a uh, computer game will also have a name it will have an id it will have a price it will have a uh, manage uh, so this is what we call inheritance and that is actually uh, task 2.2 what is meant uh, by inheritance and add arrows so this is this is the arrow which we have added and uh, you see this arrow is uh, this arrow is showing that these two classes the computer game and the vehicle are uh, the sub classes which are inheriting uh the properties of the class toy so the toy in this case is a super class and these two are the uh sub classes so a computer game will inherit all these properties a vehicle will also inherit all these properties uh of their respective super class which is a uh, toy in this case now a sub class uh, has certain of its own properties uh other than the inherited properties so these own properties are actually the properties which make this subclass different from another subclass so as far as the problem is concerned uh this uh 
was given this was defined that the computer game uh, is a type of toy which means it is a subclass of the toy and it has the properties of the toy and these two unique properties which only the computer game has and the vehicle does not have is uh, one is the category and another is the console so just like we uh, did this definition over here we'll have this definition over here as well uh, the category is a string console is a string we'll have a constructor we'll have two getters because there are two uh, properties here uh, note that always getters are equal to the number of properties if there are two properties you'll have to have two getters there were four properties over here so you we had four getters if there are n properties you have to have n number of getters setter uh, is optional sort of uh, you may not have uh, uh, one setter uh, uh, even one setter or you may have uh, all the setters so in this case uh, I have the setter set category uh, defined over here. Similarly, vehicle, as uh, the question uh, demanded, uh, it has four uh, properties, also called attributes. This is type, height, length, and weight. So we have defined all of these over here type height length and weight so type has to be of a string because we we'll, uh, like let's say a vehicle is of the type class or a truck or a bus or a or a limousine whatever height is an integer length is an integer weight is a single although one can argue that height and length can also be single they can also be decimal values so yes fine uh, they can also be decimal values but uh, I've just used integers over here and just to uh, make you notice that uh, these are the data types which should be decided as per the uh, need so uh, height length and weight uh, actually uh, if you go back if you go back to the 2.1 problem description and the example which was given over here you know type for example car so this is a string height for example 4 and length for example 15 so in the question it was uh, the idea was given that height and length has to be an integer because there was no decimal it was not 4 point something or 15 point something so in accordance uh, with this we took that uh, height and length data type as integer and weight since it was given 0.2 in decimal so we took that data type as uh, decimal as a uh, single and uh, again we have these uh, we have the constructor we have the getters the get all the four getters and uh, we have used one uh, setter as well uh, so this is uh, this is it so this is the diagram and uh, our task uh, question required us to complete uh, this uh, diagram so this is done and 2.2 uh, also gets answered uh, because now we know what is meant by inheritance uh, there is a, a class there are if there are n number of classes which inherit the properties of their uh, super class uh, then this a concept is called inheritance and in those in both of these classes in this case computer game and vehicle uh, actually uh, now if you think of it like this the computer game has six properties four which are inherited from the toy and two of its own unique properties and similarly vehicle has eight uh, properties eight attributes four of which are inherited from the parent class the super class called the toy and uh, four attributes are are uh, uh, unique to this uh, subclass uh, vehicle so uh, this is uh, what it is and uh, uh, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking at this uh, pick of mine and uh, so in order to, so uh, when new videos are uploaded new tasks are uploaded uh, you uh, can always get notified thank you bye bye